What's up, guys? Jeff with FS Gaming here. Kind of jamming to these beats right now. It's like a super nerdy, dorky thing today. But that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so today we got a kind of a special little little deal for you. Um, just yesterday, released a um, the East four axle dump um, and right away people go ahead and customize it to their liking and I'm totally cool with that I I have no problem with it whatsoever that's not what this video is about I am going to teach you how to customize it cooler than you do right now um, essentially I'm seeing people replacing DDS's um, what that's doing to this particular and almost all of my um, trucks or trailers except for the dry van and stuff because they have an actual um, you know skinning system I decided not to put a skinning system on the east um, but I'm gonna tell you how to do it so you retain the uh, kind of texturing so you still get that, um, you know, the nice shadowing from the AO bake and stuff like that. So um, follow with me if you will. Uh, you're going to need a couple things. So let's get started. So first thing you need is um, something similar to this, which is hard disk search and stats it is a free software um, it allows you it's not quite like Windows search um, you know or file folder search or whatever you can actually search inside files uh, it's not just like finding the name of the file um, which is very important in this case because you're gonna be looking for a specific item um, in order to colorize it so um, I'll kind of walk you through the searching part and all that stuff and, and what you need to do and then I'll tell you kind of like what we did if that makes sense so in this case um, the chassis you want to change the color of the chassis we'll say which in the case of the East dump is the part that holds the bucket so it's what the um, suspension is mounted onto and you know the rails at the bottom that hold the dump in place when it's going down the road um, so in this case particularly you're gonna find your folder where you've extracted um, up here where you've extracted your East quad file um, in the automat folder because that's where your mats are um, for folks that use blender tools like myself now once you're there um, you're gonna enter what you want to edit okay in this case it's gonna be chassis you check the search inside files box and you press start search It's come back with one uh, entry, and that is because there is only one chassis file or one chassis automat. So you see a whole bunch of different things here, um, but in this case, here it's showing chassis.tobj right there. So that's very important. That's that's what we're looking for. Um, so now that we found it, you say, what do you do? Well, realistically, you're trying to get this mat right here, right? Because you want to edit this. You want to edit the diffuse value right here to be a color that you want. Well, how do you get that color? That doesn't. That's not RGB. That's not hex. You know, what is that? Oh, that's... That's SCS's, um, it's an, a 
derivative of RGB, if I recall correctly. I just don't remember exactly what it's called. Um, so now, how do you get that? Well, somebody actually made a SCS color converter. So if you want to find a color, um, say we go search for a hex color. So hold on, let's 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 search for something. So here's the hex for royal blue. So that right there is your SCS color. So if we enter this into the diffuse value, you're going to get this color up here. Essentially we come in here, select this. And you paste it. In this particular thing, you can't paste it. It's just showing you what where the values are. Um, so then you paste that. So let's let's go to that mat file. So we're gonna go to. Uh, so this is in the auto mat slash eb folder, um, ending in alpha five two Charlie. Again, this is Notepad++. If you don't have this, you're doing modding incorrectly, FYI. At any rate, um, this diffuse value that I've entered here through Blender Tools is that grayish color um, that you see that's on the bucket, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and replace it with those values. We're gonna save it. Okay, so now we've got our zip, we're gonna drop it into the mod folder. So let's start the game now, and we can see what it looks like. Conflicting audio, sorry.
Whew, done with that. So there you go. The underside of the truck is blue. The truck, the trailer, Jesus. If I was any more foolish, I would look more foolish. So that's it, so you can retain all that nice AO baking. As you can see, you can retain all the AO baking there, and you can see the, the bolts and everything in the frame, and, and so on and so forth. Alright, so first you got to figure out what your file is. In this case, mine was chassis.tobj. Um, you can look through the DDSs and kind of figure out what's what. Um, in this case, you'd want to replace the one for the feet, probably, um, as well. And then you go about reverse searching for that file in the mat folder. Um, and then you can go ahead and change, you know, the look. So you could change the, the body to blue of the dump itself if you wanted to, just using that diffuse value. So that, that's going to give you your color. Um, so for those of you that enjoy your customizing and changing the colors and stuff, I uh, hope this helps you out. I will leave the links to um, both the color converter as well as the hard drive search uh, and notepad++ yet again, because I know some of you are still using notepad in windows and i would please enjoy it if you would stop doing that at any rate i hope this has helped you in your customization quest we'll catch you next time see ya